All right, so let's look at using SSH correctly. So what we want to do is, first let's look at configuration. All right, sorry, we're in the SSH directory. Now, I can log in to, so let's look at my config file. Whoops. Okay, sorry, Ronnie. So I have set the add keys to agent and use keychain. That's important so I can use my uh, SSH public and private keys. And then I want to forward X11. Well, that is going to allow me to run remote applications locally on my computer. Another thing I want to do is I don't like typing knuth.cs.hmc.edu each time, right? So I can do SSH roads at knuth cs.hmc.edu, right? That works, and it'll log in using my um, SSH key, but that's a pain in the ass to do, right? Plus, even if I do do that, if I do something like try and run a graphical program, it's not going to work. So I need to, so I've logged out. Now I'm going to try using the minus Y command and do that same thing, roads at cs. Knuth, so you can see I don't like typing this, cs.hmc.edu. That again worked. Uh, if I try to run Firefox this time, uh, it's actually going to work. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to work. Let me uh, show you what my screen is looking like. So you can see I've actually got Firefox running. So it's running, it's a Quartz application, and this is actually running from Knuth. Okay. So um, and it's a little slow. And my IP address is uh, interesting. No, we hardly care about that. OK. And notice it ran at the bottom here, export. So launch that automatically. I'm going to go ahead and quit because I don't want this running anymore. And if we look, by the way, Firefox is running. I can quit. So that's that's an interesting thing to do. Um, the other thing we might do is uh, if I look at JAWS, for instance, and I make Kimu, then oh, I have a problem. Let's just go over here to and it's going to again go ahead and run, launch exports, and I'm going to see this. Now, the fact is, I don't really need this. This is what's going to the VGA display, and this is what's going on in the serial port. The way the operating system is, is written, it'll run both of them. But notice how long it took to run. Um, and let me actually just quit this. So I could quit this with Control A X. I quit it. Um, I prefer to run with no user interface. It's just a lot quicker. Right? It doesn't bother running the um, X window application. But it's nice to have the option. So in general, you want to be using this minus Y, which forwards X11. However, there's an easier way to do all this. And the easier way to do this is using the config. So this says, hey, go ahead and forward X11 and forward X11 trusted. That's nice. Uh, I want to do public key authentication, so I don't want to type my username and password. This is my identity file, which is the default anyway, so I don't really need it. But here's an important part too. So the host is Knuth. So what I'm going to call it, right, I'm calling it Knuth. Its actual name is Knuth CS HMC EDU. The user that I actually log in as, as is Rhodes. I don't know why, by the way, those were, uh, those should all be indented in the same fashion because it's all under the uh, host. So if whatever I name is Knuth is going to have this Knuth.cs to HMC to EDU, it is going to use the user Rhodes. So what that means is then, if I just SSH in Knuth, that's all I need to do. And it is automatically set that X forwarding so I can run X programs if I want. So that's how you want to set up SSH to work 
with Knuth. You want to go ahead and set your configuration file. 